In this video, we show you how to set up independent QMixes with Apollo interfaces. All Apollo interfaces allow you to set up discrete independent QMixes via console. This is most commonly used to create custom headphone mixes for musicians while recording. The amount of available QMixes depends on the Apollo used. On Apollo Solo, you can set up one discrete QMix for the headphone output. Apollo Twin models allow for two separate QMixes for the headphone and Line 3-4 outputs, respectively. All other Apollo models, including the Apollo X4 and all rack mount models, allow for four QMixes that can be freely assigned to the headphones or other outputs. Two QMixes are enabled by default. To enable more QMixes, open the hardware panel of console settings and adjust the Q-count. This option is only available on Apollo models that support four QMixes. You will not see this setting when using only an Apollo Solo or an Apollo Twin. If using a multi-unit system, make sure to set a rack mount Apollo as a monitor unit to access all four Q mixes. For more information, see our video titled How to Configure a Multi-Unit Apollo Setup. Q routing is managed from the Q outputs panel and console. On this panel, you can set the source for each Q and route it to available outputs. When a Q's source is set to mix, the main monitor mix will be sent to the outputs assigned to the Q. The SIN fader for that Q will be grayed out in the SIN section for each console channel. When a Q's source is set to the corresponding Q mix, only signals routed directly to that Q output will be sent to the outputs assigned to the Q. Signals can be routed to Q's from within console or your DAW. On Apollo Solo, a single Q is displayed on the Q outputs panel corresponding to the headphone output. On Apollo Twin, two Q's are displayed corresponding to the headphone and Line 3-4 outputs. Apollo 16 models do not feature headphone outputs, so cues must be mirrored to available analog or digital outputs. In a multi-unit Apollo system, cues can be routed to the built-in headphone outputs of any connected Apollo, as well as the Line 3-4 outputs of an Apollo Twin if connected. However, cues can only be mirrored to available analog or digital outputs on the monitor unit. It is not possible to mirror cues to the digital or analog outputs of any expander Apollo unit. To create a discrete Q mix, first make sure the source for the Q is set to the corresponding Q mix on the Q outputs panel. For example, if using Q1, set the Q source to Q1. Next, use the Q SIN fader on each console channel to create your custom Q mix. Q SINs are taken post insert and pre fader, so you can adjust the volume and pan independently from the main mix using the controls on each channel's SINs panel. When overview is selected in console, you can click on the SIN section of any channel to open the corresponding SINs panel. You can also set console view to SINs to display all SIN faders for a particular queue in order to quickly dial in your mix. To use your main mix as a starting point for a queue mix, right-click on any of the main faders and select a queue to copy the mix to. Now you can customize the queue mix as needed instead of having to start from scratch. You can also send signals to your queues from your DAW, for example, to include a click track or DAW playback in your queue mixes. Each queue is available as a pair of outputs within the DAW. If your DAW doesn't display channel labels, check the I.O. matrix panel in console settings to see which output channels correspond to the queues. Next, set up a send on any tracks that you want to include in the queue mix and set the output to the sends to the desired queue. In Logic, click on the send field and select the corresponding queue channels as the output. In most cases, you'll also want to set the send to pre-fader. Repeat this for all tracks that you want to include in the queue mix and use the SIN faders to set their levels. In Cubase, open the Audio Connections menu and create a bus with the desired queue as the output. In the Mix Console window, create a SIN and choose that bus as the output. Hover over the SIN and click on the Pre-Post Fader button to set the SIN to Pre-Fader. Repeat this for all tracks that you want to include in the QMix and use the SIN faders to set their levels. In Ableton Live, create a return track. Set the audio output to external and select the desired Q outputs. In this example, outputs 27 and 28 correspond to Q1. If the outputs do not appear in the list, go to the Audio tab of the Preferences window and click Output Config, then enable the outputs. Set the SIN to pre-fader if needed, then use the SIN knobs to include tracks in the QMix and set their levels. In Pro Tools, create a SIN and choose the desired Q as the output. In the SIN, click on the Pre button to set it to Pre-Fader, then set the SIN level using the knob. Repeat this for all tracks that you want to include in the QMix.